What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are talking about a new solution to our water filtration issues, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if it's your first time here, we would love for you to subscribe and join the Vibe Tribe. Since we hit the road two and a half years ago, we've really struggled to find a great way to filter water. And we are so pumped to have hooked up with Acuva, the maker of this brand new to the market water filter. Yes, they sent us this to try out. They are just kind of getting into the RV market after being really big in boating and household water filtration systems for a while. So this is a little bit more compact size and we are super excited about it because so far we've only used just a little Camco water filter on our hose when we fill up. Yeah, so before we kind of dive into the details of this, we'll just let you know about our current water filtration uh, system. Like Olivia said, the Camco water filter is used on a hose that then we transfer that water from the public water, which is usually a city source, into our fresh water tank. But from our fresh water tank, there's no filtration that takes place between there and the faucet. Yes, and this uh, isn't an issue when we are just hooked up to full hookups and we completely bypass that system. But when we're out boondocking, we fill our tanks up. And if we had been sitting in an RV park for a couple weeks or a month, then that tank has had no water going through it. And it's probably pretty dirty and we don't clean it as often as we should. So what we found is we just don't like drinking out of it. We like washing dishes and cooking with it, things like that. But we will refill gallon jugs from reverse osmosis machines around town, and that's our drinking water. And the other issue with our tanks, not only do we not really uh, treat them often enough, but they are original from our 1985 camper. So those tanks are pretty old, and while they hold water well, we just don't know the history of them. And that kind yeah. of, uh, you know, puts a little worry in the back of our mind. Yeah, and if we filled up from a source that had sediment or anything like that, that could all be sitting at the bottom of the tank. In these are just things we think about when we're refilling our water cups. So just to be safe, we always like doing the reverse osmosis machines, but this could really change the game and put that extra filtration between uh, the water line and the faucet where it comes out. So the first thing that really drew us to the Acuva water filtration system that created a bunch of intrigue was the UV LED light that kills the bacteria that is filtered through it. Yes, like Kyle said, that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And that's really awesome because a lot of times you, the composite filters filter out sediment and things like that, but the bacteria and the viruses are too small and they can go through the filter. So that's awesome. And there's a few other highlights we wanted to talk about real quick this requires minimal power consumption it's very easy to install and man maintain there's no maintenance required and it has a 10 plus year lifespan so this can be ideal for RVs boats or your homes and that lifespan is a huge selling point for us because the Camco filter we've been using has a three month lifespan on it so how this works from what all of our research and everything so far is there is a composite filter that it goes through first and that filters through the sediment and the activated carbon enhances the taste and odor and the color of the water. And then it goes through the UV LED chamber and that sterilizes all the harmful bacteria and viruses by disrupting their DNA. We found all of this information very easily available on their website and the reading material that came in our box with all of our other supplies. It even comes with its own faucet that you install right next to your other faucet and it activates as soon as you turn it on. And you know because there's a little blue LED ring that turns blue and it lets you know that everything's working. So instead of that light being on all the time draining power, it only turns on when you turn the faucet on. So I guess since we're diving into this now, let me pull out some of these pieces to show you the size of what we're talking about because our camper is only 16 feet. We don't have that much space, but we have found that right underneath our sink, there is enough room to install these pieces easily and work them into our plumbing system. So this is the star of the whole system right here. This is the UV LED water purification chamber. And really it is easy to install. There are brackets on the back of it. So it will mount right up to the wall with the flow direction on either end. So this is kind of the last stop before the water hits the faucet that Olivia was talking about. Yeah, and everything has nice arrows and instructions. It looks real easy to install. We'll be getting into that later today and we won't be doing a very in-depth 
process of this whole installation because the RV geeks already did such a great job with their installation process and they're so clear and precise about every step of the way. So we will link that at the end of the video too. Yeah, and like Olivia was saying, to me this is the other key component of the system. This is the faucet. It requires a very small hole to be drilled next to the sink. And with that though, you're gonna turn this knob to get the purified water. And last but not least, this is the composite filter. So this is kind of like that basic Camco filter we were talking about. And we like that it's a part of the system, but not the whole system itself. Yes, it's a good first step, but we like that that bacteria gets killed with the UV light at the end. So also included in the box are all the supplies you need to install, like the mounting supplies, the plumbing supplies, and two power options. You can power it with either AC or DC power. I think we're gonna plug it dire directly into our DC system because it, we have easy access where the install will take place. The RV Geeks did an awesome install video. We're about to go reference that ourselves. <laughs> we'll link it right here. So if you're interested in the install, uh, I would click that video because they do a great job. But after we do that install, we'll check back with you guys, show you how the system's operating, and I think we'll drink our first glass of water from our fresh yes, tanks. Yes, hopefully all goes well and we are going to, going to be following the instructions in the book and from the RV geeks. They made it look so easy, so we hope we can install it just as easily as they did. We're really excited to try this out. This is kind of just a brief overview of kind of the system, what it is, what comes with it, how it works, and we will update you guys in the future and let you know how we're liking it after we've used it for an extended amount of time. Alright guys, so we got done with the install of the water filter last night. Because of the dark lighting, we decided to film the recap of it today, but I am really happy with the placement of the nozzle and that it's so high that we can fit a gallon jug underneath there or mm -hmm. our tall tumbler glasses. Yes, it's nice and out of the way under the sink, so I still have plenty of room for storage and things like that, and we have tasted the water out of it, and it tastes great. It tastes much better than what's just coming out of the tap. Yeah, and this is where we're filling the water up, so it is from a bad source. This is a nasty uh, faucet on a rest stop in California. So We have not drank this water yet. This is yeah. the first time only with this filter. And what I tasted whenever I poured the cup was literally nothing. It, it had no taste whatsoever to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, you know, with different water sources, you will obviously get a little bit better quality tasting water, depending on the minerals or whatever are in it in that certain area. But overall, from the first impression, I am super excited we have this mm -hmm. and can't wait to use it even more in the future. We want to thank Akiva again for giving us this filter to test out because we cannot wait to use it more and uh, we'll link all the stuff below as far as Acuva goes. They're a Canadian based company that really started in the university setting lab so it's a pretty cool story but you can see all that below mm -hmm. and uh, give, it a, give it a look. Yeah it is kind of an upfront investment but it lasts so very long and you're not going to be disposing of those little uh, Camco water filters every single month because as much as we use our water in full-time life, those filters don't last long. If you're just a weekender, those little cheap ones can last you for a season, but we go through them monthly. So it's nice to think that we won't have to be worrying about that. Thank you guys for watching and uh, look forward to our six month review. Once we've been using this bad boy for a little while, we'll get back to you on how it stood the test of time. Thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Later on.